Hey, it's Mike from Music Radar. We are still at Gibson and NAM 2019. I'm here with Cesar, who's been in charge of all the, the great changes we've been seeing this year on the products. Cesar, what can you tell us about the sort of approach you took to this? Yeah, Mike, that's a great question. You know, for us, it was, where do we want to go? It really started as, where we, do we want to go as a company? And if we look back and say we've shaped sound for 125 years, then their question is, how do we, how do, we do that in the next 125 yeah. years? And so, how do, we, how do we become the most played, relevant, and loved musical instrument company? And that comes with our product, right? And so, in order to achieve that mission, we decided that we were going to go back and leverage our, our iconic past, which is so much part of our DNA, and bring those classics back. And then, with the rest of our line, was about learning from that experience, learning from those especially from the last 60 years, and then bringing that into a new line of contemporary guitars. And so what we have here, right here behind us, is, is these, these classics, right, that, that are so loved by all artists and fans around the world, you know, bringing back the Les Paul standard in what we know the standard to be, right, with the original specs, with the the original feel, the original look, without it being chambered, with the original magnets, hand-wired, the orange rock capacitors, all of that is back in our Les Paul standard, which we now offer in the in like a 50s feel yeah. and a 60s feel, which a little bit, it's a little bit more slim, tapered neck. It's got a different type of magnets, an only code five magnet yeah. on the on the pickups and uh, it's got a little bit of a different look with the reflector knobs and the Grover tuner. So those, those were very important changes that we decided to bring back. We're also bringing back the, the very iconic TV Yellow special and the uh, equally as iconic Tobacco Burst Junior with the single Dog Ear P90. And then with, with the SG, we decided first to go back to original specs with our 61 SG, and then add to that with the Maestro and the Sideways Vibrolas, which are yeah. also, like, they're not only really cool, people love, they like to use it. And, um, and so those are our classics, and I think going forward, they will remain our classics. Mm -hmm. And then when we do new things, uh, and new things that don't necessarily need to be that we add a piece of technology into the guitar. For me, new things is also evolving the way we manufacture instruments so that we can we can provide a more accessible price point. And so in our contemporary line, for example, we have now at 899 Double Cut Tribute Junior and a 999 Double Cut Tribute Special. And that is a way of evolving into the future as well. It doesn't need to be another piece of technology that goes yeah, into sure. it. But having said that, we are going to be We've, we've started doing it informally, but we're going to be launching a lab where it's going to, re, it's going to be all about collaborations with fans and artists. Oh, right. And the concept there is really to think about how do we create better solutions for, first really tailored to the artist that spends so much time on stage and uses our guitar as their work tool. And, and what are the things that we can test? What ideas do they have? Mm. And it's all about testing, testing, testing before anything gets incorporated in a guitar going forward. And so, you know, I would summarize by saying our portfolio of guitars today leverages our iconic past and pays tribute to Gibson's golden era of innovation and then evolves it into the future with our line of contemporary instruments. Yeah. And with input from other players to sort of shape that yeah and um, can we expect to see more lower cost instruments you you mentioned a few there there's uh, I'm, yeah we're interested in finding ways of providing more accessible price points the the there's going to be a, a almost like a break-even point at some point that yeah. we can't really keep pushing that limit you know we are a handcrafted high quality high glue you know we do we carve the tops we do all these things yeah. that our luthiers do in our factories and so we want to preserve that that's mm. And that is what's so authentic and unique about Gibson. Yeah. And so we're gonna, we're, yes. So we're gonna be doing that, like we just, uh, we just talked about with our line of double cuts, right? At 899 and 999. What we're doing with our new generation line of acoustic guitars at 999. Yeah. Spruce tops, walnut back and sides, 
made by the same hands that make our J200s and our J45s, but at, a, at an accessible price point mm. to a premium brand. But we have our portfolio of Epiphone as well, yeah. which we continue to evolve. We've made a lot of changes there as well. We've, we've rationalized the line down to what everybody loves. Yeah. We simplify the color schemes. And I truly believe that our Epiphone guitars are the best instruments for the price. Mm. Yeah. And can we expect to see new signature artists out into the roster? Is anything in the works at the moment? Yeah, so we're showcasing today our new lines of Trini Lopez signatures, which you saw there. Um, we are showcasing what we announced with the BB King, White Lucille, um, and our Chris Cornell tribute, which is so close to my heart because uh, I, 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 was, I was such a, a fan of. Me too. Me too. Trust me. You know, such an amazing singer, songwriter, guitarist. So that's a that's really a passion project for yeah. me. Um, same is the case with the Joan Jett model that we just uh, unveiled. But I mean, yeah, stay tuned because the number of artist uh, collaborations that we're going to be bringing on are going to be are going to be pretty incredible. That's really exciting. We can't wait to see it. Thank you so much, Cesar. Um, this is Mike from Music Radar at Gibson at NAM 2019. Stay tuned to the site for more. Cheers.